Hello, in English there are auxiliary verbs that we use often. The three primary auxiliary verbs are to be, to have and to do. That's be, h-a-v-e and d-o. So that's be, have and do. Others are can, may, must, shall, will, and ought. That's can, C-A-N, may, M-A-Y, must, M-U-S-T, shall, S-H-A-L-L, will, W-I-L-L, -L, and ought, O-U-G-H-T, ought. Often auxiliary is used to create a certain voice, mood, or opinion much like the subjunctive in the Latin languages. I must go. James can read. In a sentence using an auxiliary verb, the number represented by the subject, singular or plural, must also match the number represented by the auxiliary verb. So we must use the plural if there's more than one object or subject. So the boys are building a rocket to launch in the park. The boys are. So it wouldn't be the boys is, it would be the boys are launching. And therefore the, the first one's correct, the boys are building a rocket to launch in the park. And the animals were going two by two. The animals were going two by two. We'll have a look at more auxiliary verbs later on. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye. See you later.